Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and here we are in Physics Surgery Quickies wherein I bring forward to you small little concepts that are generally uh, not present in textbooks and are usually asked as doubts by the toppers. So here we are going to investigate an idea of contact angle formula in the context of surface tension, especially when a drop of either mercury or water is spread on a glass plate kind of situation. So here's the Young's formula. And this is what is the uh, textbook reference. Okay, so whether this formula is applicable for all situations is what we are going to analyze in this particular video. Interestingly, this particular formula will be proved in this video using the work energy analysis. As we move along, I also give you an unseen reference for this formula its uses and also in cases where it may not be applicable. So for that reference, try to watch the video till the end and also uh, go through the practice problem that I'm going to provide at the end. Okay, so here we go forward. <clears throat> so before I present to you the situation in the video, uh, as usual, a humble request. So just the target for the next video upload, which is 750 likes for this particular video, or uh, we'll wait for 14 days, uh, whichever is the first to upload the next video. So please keep supporting the channel so that it keeps motivating me to come up with such beautiful videos, which would help uh, you ace your examinations. So before we go into this video, some of the concepts that are already taught in this channel with regards to surface tension about the contact angle Young's equation. I think I use the force method to explain things, even the previous J equations, all these beautiful questions and the videos are in the subtopic playlist of surface tension, which you could find in the I button above or in the description below. I would request you to go through them uh, either before this video is done or after it, especially if you are new to this channel. So all these things were done in an elaborative and beautiful manner in order to help you in your preparation. So just to highlight some of them, these are the two old videos, uh, thumbnails. One is where I describe the macroscopic and microscopic FBDs in surface tension, uh, keeping capillary rise in mind. And in that video, I try to explain what is the difference between types of surface tension, that is the TSL, TSG, and TLG. And the second one, which is a follow-up video that we did on the energy, energy analysis in the capillary rise. So these are all important things uh, which are required for understanding surface tension in depth and also the concept that I'm going to take up in this video. Okay, so links of these videos are in the description below. One of them is in the I button above. Please try to go through them. So the work energy analysis to determine the contact angle. So if you see the leftmost picture, right, this is what would happen. So just to give you an insight, uh, a very standard uh, video, which I would like to play. Yeah. So uh, the idea of that uh, Young's law suggests that when the combination of solid, liquid and vapor or gas is prefixed, the contact angle should be prefixed. You could see that there's some kind of a liquid on some kind of solid with gas around it. A contact angle is already prefixed. If you change one of the three properties, solid, liquid or gas, here we are going to change the liquid. It will take some time for the rearrangement to take place. And once the liquid again stops, a new contact angle is established. Okay, so let's try to see this. You could see I have now changed the liquid. And this element here is going to move to attain a new contact angle. So let me play the video. Can you see that? So let me replay it. You could see that. Okay, so once this new contact angle is established, the Young's equation again changes the cos theta or cos inverse of that particular combinations of TSL, TLG and TSG would determine the contact angle. Okay, so let me play it one more time at a slightly slower pace for you. <coughs> yeah, you could see this point starts moving and stops. So this is what we are going to do in our energy analysis. So imagine this, this particular point, which moved in that particular video, uh, stops at a position. So this is the initial state. And once the movement starts, this point, let's say, moves towards left by a dx length. Okay, so 
there is a DL distance which is into the board and there is a DX displacement towards left of this point. So this is the initial state. So after the displacement, this point had moved by a distance DX. So in all of this, what has actually happened is there is a solid vapor interface that has been destroyed. There is a solid liquid interface that has been created. And also the liquid vapor extra interface is created. Okay, so all these energy destructions or creations would be reported in the work done per unit length. So if this distance is dx on your screen, if this angle of contact is theta, then the extra surface area that is created of the liquid vapor interface is the dx cos theta multiplied by dl into the board. The dl is not shown in this diagram, but that would be the extra area and that would go in the form of the work done. Okay, so calculating the work done by moving a contact line a distance dx. So contact line, remember, into the board of length dl is moved towards left by a distance dx. So the work done per that unit length dl would be given by the value of the force that is along the contact line multiplied by the distance moved by it, dx. So gamma sv is the surface tension of solid vapor which pulls it towards left, so positive work done. Gamma sl, which is in the negative direction into dx minus the energy that is extra created due to the dx cos theta that would be there. So you could see that the same length was here, the extra creation is here. So that's what we have written here. Okay, so from creation of the new interface, this gamma without the subscript is nothing but the gamma LV. And in equilibrium, remember, at the start, the kinetic energy was zero. At the end, also the kinetic energy is zero. So DW all is equal to DKE is coming, coming out to be zero. So the change in kinetic energy is zero. And that is when the equilibrium gets established. So once you equate this to zero and cancel the DX, you end up getting the required cos inverse formula that we saw even in the force method. Instead of seeing this as a force into displacement minus energy, you can see this as three forms of energy actually. The gamma SV into DX is the uh, work that is done due to destruction of SV layer. SV layer has got dis destroyed. Uh, here, solid vapor layer was there and now the solid vapor layer has been covered by liquid. That's why positive work. And similarly, the solid liquid vapor uh, layer, the solid liquid layer extra part has been created. So some energy is lost. Okay, some work, negative work has been done. So third one I have already explained. So either which way, you should be able to get that cos inverse formula. But now the bonus food for thought in this video, is this always correct? Because this, this gives us a picture, right? Even this equation is there in NCRT. Is this always going to be the condition? Because if this is true, then come what may, whatever is the situation, once the liquid is at rest, remember all that, that we are studying is called static surface tension. When the liquid is moving, all these, these, these things will not be valid. So once the liquid has come to rest, always is the cos theta the same uh, for a given pair of SG, SL and LG? That's the question. For a given SLG combination, is the contact angle fixed or does it depend on other situations or other parameters? Okay, so the answer is lying in this particular MIT lecture PDF that I would like to share with you and some of the pictures that I've taken for this video were taken from there. So here's the credit and what I would request you is that entire PDF, uh, all of it is not there for JE syllabus, but the first three pages are real gem of uh, writing. So please make sure you download that PDF from the description below and then go through the first three pages where he beautifully illustrates the importance of contact angle. Okay, so some of the illustrations that you are familiar with in your JE syllabus are whenever uh, the angle is measured at a sharp edge, one of the sharp edge situations is the um, contact angle measured at insufficient length of a capillary tube. So there the angle need not be always the same theta. Similar is the case where in a capillary tube, if a liquid is trapped, the contact angle at the top part and contact angle at the bottom part, once the liquid has come to rest, is going to be different. So even here, you cannot directly use the Young's law. When the drop of liquid that you see on a wall on a rainy day has stopped and come to rest, 
the contact angle at the top and bottom under the gravity situations are also different. So gravity plays a role in deciding the contact angle. So whatever formula that I wrote or we learn, this one is under a special situation. So this you should not take it as a universal law to determine the contact angle. This is when liquid spreads on a solid on a horizontal plane. Okay. So keeping that spirit in mind, I would like to give you a practice problem. Okay, so before I move on to present you the practice problem, these are the different places where you can connect with this channel. So Discord, Telegram, website, and all the social media, whichever you want, you can pick. All the links of these are in the about me section of this channel. So please go there and utilize whatever you want. And there is a website, physicsurgery.in. Okay, all the playlists and uh, videos of this channel are arranged in a chapter wise manner. So for quick revision of uh, these things for JE aspirants, it would be really helpful. How to use the website? I've already made a tutorial video. Please uh, go through that. All the tutorial video is in the uh, description below or in the I button above, help yourself. <clears throat> Here's the practice problem that I promised. Okay, so this is regarding the understanding of the contact angle, when to use, when not to use the logic that Young's uh, equation gives. And this is one of the uh, concepts that was asked also in the previous uh, JE uh, papers of insufficient length. So read the question carefully. This appeared in one of the China ATS in the last few weeks. And uh, comment your answer along with the timestamp in the comment section below. Timestamp is important so that I can respond. And again, one more reminder, surface tension is a chapter that generally troubles the students and not much text is mentioned in NCRT and but JE always tries to cross the boundaries of NCRT in this topic so it requires some extra attention from the JE aspirant so all the videos of this subtopic playlist of surface tension were made keeping this aspect in mind so please go through them before your JE examination link of this uh, playlist is in the description below or the i button above and regarding Discord server, there is a separate properties of matter channel in which you can share your doubts and just make sure that uh, you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell icon so that whenever I post some questions in the community tabs, you'll end up getting the uh, notification. How to use the Discord if you are a beginner, I would suggest you watch a video tutorial on Discord that I have already made. Link of the tutorial is in the description below or the i button above. <coughs> Apart from the physics surgery quickies, we have a lot of other series running parallel in this channel uh, to help the uh, different sets of students that visit this particular channel. Okay, so make sure links of all these playlists that you are supposed to go through and uh, try um, asking your doubts at that particular respective videos. Okay, uh, try to like the video. Liking the videos are very, very important for survival of this channel. So please ensure you keep this channel alive and try to share the content with others, especially if you're teachers, try to share it with your students and please do subscribe to this channel. Okay, right. I wish to bring more videos with your support. So all the beautiful illustrations and the physics that I would like to teach on this channel depends on the motivation that I have. And one simple motivation is the support that you can give to this channel. Okay, so thanks for staying this long and see you in the next beautiful video.